believe we all understand the motion. Mayor, before you ask a vote, yes, I would like to just see a hand, uh, a show of hands in the audience of people who have been inside the building in the last 10 or 20 years. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, roll call.
in keeping with separating the UTV reuse from the actual Carnegie issue, I would like to briefly address the council as a concerned citizen and not as a representative of Upstream TV. I believe that I understand this issue. Many people on both sides have brought forth very valid points, and I have wondered to myself after long nights of thinking solely about that old building, what is it that draws me to want with all of my heart to save it? When I first moved here with my family, we were greeted by wood ticks. <laughs> Many of us disrobing in horror after our first walk in the woods, similar to the leech scene in Stand By Me. We rode horses, we rode the Bemidji Bell, we went bridge jumping, explored the Mississippi, and slowly but surely became intertwined with the land. We went to high school in what I always thought in my, apologies, in my movie-minded way was the most cinematic building I'd ever seen. I was the class representative of the last graduating class from the old Bemidji High School. I filmed every stage of it being torn down. I watched her fall. As I remember back, it wasn't that there was no use for the building. There was too many. Neglect and time conspired to bring the old high school down. Why did it hurt my heart so badly? It's memories. I work in memories. The roots that I have sown here connect me to the ground, therefore connect me to everything that stands on it. Memories are what show this connection. I remember you. That old building was one of the first things I saw when I first stepped foot in your fair city. And I know that I'm home when I see her. Please give the people of Bemidji a chance to rise to the occasion and save the Carnegie Library. Save the Carnegie Library. <laughs> Upstream TV, I would recommend that uh, 